My father passed away in January of 2008. He was my best friend. Um, he was a huge support to my children. And at the time, their father, David, was a very um, strong support in my life um, for those 10 months before he was killed. I was actually visiting my cousin, Norman, who worked for Track Family Services. And um, I was in the office with him and my children were outside in the car and I got the call while I was in the office with him. So I went to go see what was going on. Um, my cousin had made arrangements for someone to come and get the kids out of the car and take them to their house. So once I found out that they ruled it as a homicide, I had them come to a friend's house and me and a couple of other people, you know, actually told them. And it was the hardest thing I ever, I ever had to do. told them that their father was with their grandfather. And Darrell just kept saying, Daddy, Daddy, and I'm like, yeah. And I just kept saying, yeah, he's in heaven with Grandpa. And he, you know, they broke down and everyone in the house broke down. And I, to this day, don't know how I made it through it. Uh, there were many, many days where I just didn't want to go on. I didn't want to live. And it just it, it seemed to get harder and harder. One of the things that you know I I took advantage of was the counseling, which was very helpful to me because shortly after. David, my father, passed away. I had a car accident, and I lost my job after 15 years because of the car accident. And I was evicted, so um, crime victims helped with Christmas presents and Thanksgiving dinners and Christmas dinners, and I'm and it was it was a blessing. It was a blessing. It really helped me get through, the, you know, to get through everything. I would say having someone to talk to at that time saved my life in my children's lives. It, I mean, I just, like I said, at times it just felt like I couldn't go on. And I still had to go to work and I still had to pay bills and I still had to take care of the kids. And, you know, she 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 helped with the kids too. To me, it was it was my lifesaver. It was, it was like somebody threw me a line and kind of helped me get out of this sinking, you know, the sinking ship that I was in. I got back on my feet in 2010, and I started volunteering with um, Dennis Dean and Track. I really wanted wanted to do it because I wanted to give back and I wanted to make a difference in you know someone else's life. My main my main concern is just you know trying to get my kids, you know, to on the right track and you know keep them off the streets and the stuff that I do and the things that I'm involved in and family services helps me do that. Everybody used to tell me you have to be strong for your mom, so I just, like, I really didn't cry a lot. Like, if she cried, I was there to, like, have her a shoulder to cry on and um keep her happy and um all that. Make sure she's not feeling like she's going through it by herself. Dayquez is on the STEP team, which is a part of track and family services, Um, and I feel that's a huge benefit to him. Yeah, I'm the captain of the step team. That's hard work. Um, we practice from 6 to 7.30, four days a week. It's keeping me on a straight path because I have something to do after school. I'm not just sitting in the house or running in the street, so it keeps me on a path, a good path. Darrell is 16. He's an extraordinary artist. He has gotten a lot quieter and a lot more to himself since the death of his grandfather and his father. He was very, very close to both men. And it does scare me at times, which is why I'm glad we have family services. Uh, at family services, I uh, participate in the summer job uh, program and also the mural paintings that I did with Nestor. When I was first told about the murals, I was like, 
wow, I get to really do something for the first time. And when I saw Nestor, because I've, I've seen his work before, I was like, this is really going to put me in a good position, you know. More things for my portfolio, so family services really giving me an opportunity to better my chances of getting into a college and, and uh, pro possibly a career. I mean, just to know that there are services like this for people is a great thing because people walk around every day and you never know what people are going through. You cannot tell by looking at somebody that they're having these issues or these problems. And a lot of times people are scared to reach out and ask for help or look for help and family services makes it so easy. You know, they're, they're very welcoming. They're very accommodating, and they're, like I said, there's no judgment or anything. They're, I mean, they're like family. I mean, Jessica and Wendy and Michelle and Dennis. I mean, it's like, it's not even like going to work. I mean, you know, I, I, I enjoy feeling like I can make a difference in their lives the way someone else made a difference in mine.